director of the FBI believed that the Attorney General of the United States was attempting to alter, impede, or quash the investigation of Hillary Clinton's alleged espionage, the failure to safeguard state secrets that had been given to her for safekeeping, so that Hillary Clinton could be elected to succeed Barack Obama as president. I don't know if that's true. Jim Comey doesn't know if it's true. But it is enough of an argument and it is sufficient evidential uh, base, a sufficient evidential basis to commence a criminal investigation of former Attorney General Loretta Lynch. What you just heard was Judge Napolitano calling for Loretta Lynch to be investigated. And I say amen to that. Uh, here's the thing. She's been a part of this all along. We know that Comey, when he came out and gave his so-called Russian narrative against Donald Trump, uh, that he brought up Loretta Lynch during that testimony that he had given in, in the Senate. Uh, he said, oh yeah, Loretta Lynch told me to call Hillary Clinton's email investigation a matter instead of an actual criminal, criminal investigation. And that's exactly what happened. Not to mention another way that she has done miss on wrongdoings is she met with Bill Clinton, you know, as the attorney general, she met with Bill Clinton, the husband of Hillary Clinton, who was running for presidency at the time and at the Sky Harbor International Airport in which they had a secret dealing for 30 minutes. Hmm. Hmm, kind of sounds like the whole Comey Trump thing, but yet why is Loretta Lynch's going completely ignored? Not to mention her third point, and that is the issue in testimony that involved Comey uh, having a document that indicated that Loretta Lynch would ensure the Clinton email probe didn't go that far, right? Because she was obstructing justice. That's exactly what she did when you're telling the FBI director to, hey, let's, let's, let's not go too far with this Hillary Clinton email. How is that any different from the accusations that you're hearing uh, false accusations, according to Donald Trump, about uh, him saying, go easy on Michael Flynn. Well, that's exactly what Loretta Lynch has done with Hillary Clinton. Hey, don't take that too far. Hey, let's call that a matter instead of an actual criminal investigation. Hello, obstruction of justice, Miss Loretta Lynch. Let's take the woman to court. Let's get her too behind, hey, bars or out. Uh, from politics altogether. She shouldn't be there. And bottom line, Hillary Clinton and the DNC need to be investigated. There was information leaked on Project Veritas. Everybody, please go to the YouTube channel, Project Veritas, subscribe to it, check it out, because they've leaked multiple evidence that the DNC is hacking the election using everything, and they did hack it. And it's funny, because they're the ones actually hacking it while they're trying to blame the same thing on Donald Trump saying Russian had interference, when all the while the proof and the evidence exists that they did it. Yeah, there's proof on Project Veritas that they paid people to vote more than one time. They paid people who were not citizens to vote more than one time, to go into certain counties counties and countries and to vote and to vote and cast their vote for Hillary Clinton. Yeah, that's called messing with the election and it's illegal. Well, back to Loretta Lynch because I think this is good news for us because she needs to be investigated. Check out this report from libertywritersnews.com from Paris Wade titled, Loretta Lynch just got the worst news ever. Look what Trump is gonna do to her. Now the report goes on to detail that Senate Republicans are eyeing the possibility of getting former Attorney General Loretta Lynch to testify in the wrongdoings with regard to the FBI's criminal investigation, and they should. Now, those are the three things I mentioned earlier that they're referencing, but on Wednesday, Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley sent a letter to Senator Dianne Feinstein, a top Democrat to the Judiciary Committee. Grassley told The Hill that they haven't made decisions yet, but it is, quote, likely that Lynch's testimony to the committee will be necessary at some point. Senator John Corrin said that it would be helpful for Lynch to testify. I say, let's get her on the stand and let her 
testify. Amen, amen, amen. So not only Judge Napolitano, but now others are pushing for that as well, and they're getting headway on it. Donald Trump also took to his Twitter page and made the following statement about former Attorney General, and he said, Attorney General Lynch made law enforcement decisions for political purposes, gave Miss Hillary Clinton a free pass, and protection totally illegal. Hello, let's get this woman and put her under investigation. Let's put her in trial. Let's take our focus to where it really belongs on Hillary Clinton, on the DNC, on the wrongdoings of Loretta Lynch that Comey even admitted to. So many things are going unlooked and under the radar and not even paid attention to, yet they're paying attention to false Russian narrative instead of the true story, instead of the real dealings. Do you hear any more about put her behind bars, Hillary Clinton? Are, is anyone even saying that anymore or is it kind of gone under the radar? I think it's obvious it's really gone under the radar and that's not good. Let's keep the narrative pushing. Let's start with Loretta Lynch. Anyhow, please make sure you go to getthetea.com. Um, he's got a new tea here, the Formula 13. This thing is a friggin' energy pump. Uh, you can tell I'm a little more giddy in the mornings, but that's because of this. <laughs> and I actually mix the two. I take one of each and make my batch with that. So I still get my detox, but I also get a little bit of energy pump in the morning. So this is a great way. If you haven't tried this and you need a little more energy, that's this, but it does some detox, but this is the more powerful detox. So check those out at getthetea.com and it helps fund what I do here. If you're gonna buy tea anyway and you're gonna buy detox, why not support the channel doing it? Anyhow, wanted to bring you the latest on all of that. Uh, if you like what you heard, share it on all your social media outlets. And I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.